Hello, I'm Susanna O'Bara, Assistant Superintendent of Denton ISD and a graduate of Denton ISD Schools. Some days it's hard to believe that my hometown is centered in one of the fastest growing areas in our state. You can literally feel the growth anytime you're out in our community. But then I remember that people bring their families to communities that have a strong belief in public education, which is why people are choosing to move here in record numbers. We're adding the equivalent of more than a school's worth of children each year to our student enrollment. We average opening a new school each year to accommodate that growth. That means the district facilitates an internal boundary change, also known as rezoning. I just want to share with you a few details about the process, and then we're going to get your feedback. When our district opens a new elementary school, when possible, we try to design an attendance zone that has our students attend schools that are as close to their homes as possible. However, sometimes that means we have to split neighborhoods due to dense development or a large number of families that reside in a small area. Just know, neighborhood schools for our elementary students is a main priority for our process. When our district opens a new middle school, we try to keep complete neighborhoods together. As students grow and become more involved in extracurricular activities, that shared experience and the connections made become even more important. When our district opens a new high school, we do our best to prioritize feeder patterns when at all possible. This means an entire group of middle school students would be going to the same high school. Again, building and maintaining connections, which we believe are important, and while sometimes it's not possible, we certainly make every effort to do this. All these ideas drive the decisions when we draw the new attendance zones, as well as our building capacity. Just for reference, an average elementary school is designed to serve 750 students. Our middle schools serve approximately 1,000, and high schools serve approximately 2,500. That's what's been determined to be the threshold for the best academic setting for our students. From time to time, we do exceed those numbers, but they are optimum because keeping schools this size provides the most opportunities for our students to be engaged. Now, based on what we've shared, we'd like to give you the opportunity to share your priorities with us as we begin this process. Please use the link provided to give us your feedback. Thank you again for helping us and being engaged with this process.